Okay. So for your surrealist, um, surrealism painting, what you need to do is you need to find for your photo reference, you need to find some realistic images. Okay. And, um, so you're going to use that thumbnail worksheet that has all the little boxes on it and you're going to work out some ideas. So if I, um, say I'm going to pop over here and I'm like, okay, um, I want to, I want my facial feature that's part of this painting to be a mouth. So I'm going to look through images of real mouths. Don't look up drawings. Don't look up paintings. You want to look up actual photos of people's mouths and then, um, kind of look through here and figure out, okay, what, what kind of mouth am I looking for? Am I looking for one that's open? Do I want one that's closed? Do I want one that looks like, um, it's eating something or do, you know, what position are you looking for in the mouth? Okay. And you're going to, um, you're going to click on it. So say I like this one right here. I'm not sure what this person has in their mouth, but, um, it's an interesting side profile. And then what I will do is I will come over here and I'll either, you can either, um, I think it's best to save the image um, instead of using one of these copy link addresses because then sometimes that gets messy. So save the image and then you're going to upload that into the classroom assignment, okay, as your first photo reference. Then I'm like, I have to figure out, okay, what am I going to mix with this facial feature that's also realistic um, to create some surrealism? Now, I'm just like looking over here and um, just by chance, I happen to see this image of a, over here of a realistic mouth and a beetle or a lightning bug crawling out of it. So that is surrealism. I'm not going to copy that, but that would be um, what we're looking for, okay? All right, so I have a mouth. Boop, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna sketch out the image of this mouth on my thumbnail sketch sheet. Then my second thing, I'm my second image, realistic image that I'm gonna combine with the mouth, say I wanna do a bubble. Awesome, I'm gonna look for an image of a bubble that I find interesting or makes sense um, to me. I kinda like this image right here of the bubble that has a reflection in it. Perfect. That way um, I can combine a few different pieces of um, surrealism going on. So I can combine, you know, somehow paint the mouth that is incorporated with this bubble. And then there's a reflection. Um, it looks like of a cityscape or something. I find that one pretty interesting. That's cool. I could even decide, you know what, maybe I want to put some text into it and put some words in these little bubbles. Um, Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, this is going to be my second image that I'm going to combine. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy the image or save the image. Sorry, don't copy it. Save the image and then upload it into Classroom. And then I'm going to sketch it out on my thumbnail worksheet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how am I going to combine these two realistic images to create something that is surreal. So something that doesn't make sense. It would make way too much sense if I were to draw a mouth that looks like it's blowing bubbles, like this one. That makes sense. That's real. You do that. What could I do that doesn't make sense? I could, um, I could take the bubble and maybe I put the mouth inside of it. Okay, cool. I could take the bubble and, um, you know, put that image inside of it. And then maybe I look like it's exploding and inside the mouth. Great. Awesome. So even though you're picking two realistic images, you have to figure out how can you combine them together to make a painting where it's not realistic, where it doesn't make sense. We're not doing abstract art. So the lips and the bubbles still need to look real. We're doing surrealism. So it's realistic, but doesn't make sense. All right. And that's why I wanted you to watch those videos that were in the first part of the slideshow, because um, they go through surrealism and they give a lot of really great examples um, to help you make sense of this painting. Okay. Perfect.